Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but these books are so delightful. Hey guys, Sarah here. I am going to be sharing with you my top 16, because I had a hard time narrowing it down, favorite winter books for kids. So let's just jump right in. I'm from Minnesota in the United States, and in the winter time, you can't deny that snow is everywhere and kids love reading about snow, learning about snow, but wherever you live, I think it's important to learn about the weather in some parts of the world, just like we learn about the rainforest in different countries and continents. I think it's important, even if you live in a warm climate year round, it's really cool for kids to learn about snow through books. And if you live in a snowy area, it just makes sense. Now I love to save my winter related snowy books for after Christmas because Christmas has so many books that goes along with it. So I like to save these types of books for January through March. So we spread them out. I have collected these thrifting, buying brand new over the years, some online, some through Usborne, some from bookshops. And of course you can always find lots of winter related books at your library, but I thought I would just go through our books and pick out our favorites from over the years and share them with you today. So like I said, I'm sharing my top 16 favorite kids books when it comes to winter. Now if you have a favorite winter book, make sure you head over to our community tab and leave a comment there and share what your family's favorite winter related books are. Now these aren't just about snow, they're also about seasons in general, about different animals in the winter um, and things like that. So let's just jump right in. One of our favorites, this is very new to us. I got this from Usborne. This is a pop-up seasons book. So this isn't just about winter, but I love that it teaches about all the seasons. It has absolutely beautiful pop-up illustrations in it to show all the four seasons, which we do get where we live, but maybe you don't, and this will be fun for your kids to learn about how the four seasons can work in different areas. So. This is really cool because this tree shows all four different seasons. So this is a great learning book for kids from Usborne. Another favorite we picked up from Usborne this year is What is Snow? I absolutely love their Lift the Flap question and answer books as well as their Peek Inside books that are very similar. They're great for learning. And so this one is all about snow. It's got flaps they can lift and read about you know, what snow is like, what it looks like, how each snowflake is different, um, and how the different types of snowflakes, what you can do with snow, what you might find in the snow, where does the snow go, and just different things to know about snow and winter. This is a really fun way to learn about snow from Osborne. This one is a great one for slightly older kids, but little ones will definitely love to look at the pictures. This is a very scientific book about snow. It's called The Story of Snow, The Science of Winter's Wonder, and it has actual microscopic photos of snowflakes, which is really cool. And there's lots of extra information in this. You don't have to read it, but if your kid is very interested or older, they might like to read it. So you could just read like the main things where it says, our story starts on a winter day high up in the sky in a cloud that is very, very cold. This is the story of snow. But then it also gives you extra information. So this is talking about clouds and what clouds are made out of. And then it talks about, you know, how snow kind of, kind of starts. Um, it talks about snow crystals and how they're formed. It's just a really cool scientific way to learn about snow with really awesome photos. So this is a great one for elementary age, I would say, especially like if you're homeschooling or just want to learn about snow. If you're a teacher, this will be a great one as well. So I really love this one. This was new that I bought this year. Next up is a story called Stella, Queen of the Snow. This one's a really cute one because there's this older sister named Stella who has a little brother, Sam, which there are multiple in this series, but this is a great one. You don't have to know the series to love this book. Little brother Sam has never seen the snow, and so he's asking his older sister all kinds of questions about snow. I'm sure most parents can relate. Is the snow cold? Um, can you eat snowflakes? Let's make a snowman. Where does the snowman sleep? 
what does the snowman eat? You know, just so many questions about the snow and his big sister answers. So it's just a fun way to kind of learn about snow through a story. And it's really, really cute. So I'd highly recommend this one. Next up is a book just called Snow. And this one just makes me feel very nostalgic and gives me the warm fuzzies. This one is just basically like, it feels like a love story about snow. It's just showing, um, you know, the different types of snow that there are. Um, it's just very beautifully written. There's the snow that begins to fall in fat, cheerful flakes. And this snow tells you as it falls that it will send you home early. And just lots of beautiful pictures. And basically just talking about the different types of snow and what snow does. Sometimes, you know, children love snow better than adults and how it can make you miss plans and things like that, but how fun it can be. It's just really sweet. Um, just a really fun book about snow. And like the good things about snow, since I tend to not be a big fan, this one helps children appreciate and adults appreciate the benefits of snow. I can't do a winter book video without talking about the Jan Brett books. Hopefully you all are familiar. If you're not, definitely go pick up some. She's most famous for books like The Mitten and her different gingerbread stories. I like to actually save our gingerbread books for after Christmas since we have so many Christmas books. Since I don't know that any of them are actually Christmas related, they're just about gingerbread. Um, I love Gingerbread Friends. This one's super cute about a little gingerbread man or gingerbread boy, I guess, who has no friends. So he goes out to look for some friends and meanwhile, Maddie, who is the main character in a lot of Jan Brett, Brett's books, is baking him a whole bunch of friends uh, the illustrations are absolutely gorgeous in all of Jan Brett's books and she often has um, things on the side that are kind of like foreshadowing what's going on. So it's like showing what Maddie is doing with the different ingredients. So it's just amazing. I mean, I, I'm sure everyone loves her books. They're absolutely beautifully illustrated, written, and they're just perfect. And so at the end there's this big fold out um, when he discovers and comes home to see that he now has a whole bunch of friends. And The Mitten is a classic about, I actually saw a play of this one years ago in a children's theater. And Maddie loses his white glove that his grandma just knit for him and different animals come along and try to fit inside. And it stretches and stretches and stretches. And then finally, a little mouse hops on the bear's nose. He sneezes and they all come flying out. And the mitten returns to Maddie all stretched out. And he's kind of like, what happened to my mitten? Just really cute. This is a fun one to learn about different animals in winter time um, and just absolutely gorgeous. So I would recommend all of Jan Brett's books for sure. Okay, moving on to snowmen books. I had to limit myself here. Um, there are four that we really love. This one is called Snowman's Big Job, and I like this one because um, it's showing a snowman wearing different clothing items, and you have to guess what job that snowman has. It's just kind of like a quirky, fun, different type of winter book. So there he was a doctor, here it's a ballerina, then a construction worker, a chef, and so on. It's just a fun guessing game. This would be really fun for littler kids, but it's a way to take winter and kind of um, look at it in a different way. We really love The Snowman. This is a book that has no words. It's like a comic style about a boy who builds a snowman and then the snowman comes to life at night and they kind of have like a little adventure in the night together so this is a great one to kind of you know the kids can even tell you what's happening and kind of tell the story and they're learning you know how to read because they're doing the pictures in the left to right top to bottom order and it's showing you know you don't have to be able to actually read words to know what's happening in a book and so it's just kind of like those pre-reading skills of looking at the pictures um, and knowing what's happening and so it's really cute kind of sad at the end he does melt but it is a very beautiful book we really love this one 
Next up is this really sweet story called The Biggest Best Snowman. I really love the message of this book. It's about this family of girls. It is set at Christmas time, but it's not really a Christmas book. And this little girl named Little Nell has big sisters and big mama, and she wants to be able to help with things, and everybody tells her, no, you're too small, you can't do it. So I'm sure a lot of kids can relate to that. So she goes outside, and the animals ask her if she can help build a snowman, and she says, no, I'm not, I'm too small. And they said, well, let's try. And so they all help each other make this gigantic snowman. And then she goes home and has her sisters and her mom come see it. And they kind of can't believe their eyes and finally realize, okay, she is little, but she can do big things and she can help. And so I really love the message of this because it's showing that it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how big you are, you can still help, you can still make a difference, and it's helping kids see that they are important, they are special, and they can do amazing things, and that teamwork can help um, accomplish even bigger and better things. So I just really love the message of this one in The Biggest Best Snowman. Another one we love is Sneezy the Snowman. This one's really cute and funny. Kids love it. My daycare kids would used to love this one. So it's about Sneezy the Snowman who's really cold, and so they try different things to warm him up, but he ends up melting, and so they have to rebuild him. And he keeps sneezing because he's so cold, so they try different things, and yet again, he melts. And they end up giving him like all of their things that keep them warm, but then he gets too hot, so they go to an ice cream shop, and he's perfect. And it's just really funny and cute. Um, and talking about giving, giving their different clothing items and helping out their friend, the snowman, to warm up and then to cool down. And just a really fun one for kids. Okay, like the season one I showed at the very beginning, this parable treasury takes you through all the seasons. And this is definitely a more Christian book, but I absolutely love this one. There are four stories in it that go along with each season. and. It's basically the story of a farmer and his family and the different things they do throughout the seasons and there's a parable or a lesson to learn in each one. So the very last one is the pine tree parable and this one does relate to Christmas but I just really love that this whole book is about the seasons and so basically they grow trees for Christmas time for families to come cut down and a family who's really poor and comes to get one of the really like Charlie Brown style trees because they're free and they want to buy and the little girl wants to buy this really big beautiful tree that the mom of the farm family doesn't want to sell because it's so perfect but they end up giving it to this family for free because they know that they really could use it and that it will mean so much to them and it just fills all their hearts with joy and I just love the story of giving and I love this whole treasury in general. I love how it's talking about seasons, how you're learning about farming, you're learning about growing things and harvesting things and being patient, but it also is teaching a lesson in each one. So I highly recommend this one. For the littler kids, this one is really cute. This is called Five Little Penguins Slipping on the Ice. It kind of is a winter version of like the five little monkeys jumping on the bed. So the little penguins are on the ice and different things happen and the mama calls the doctor and the doctor says no more penguins slipping on the ice or sliding near a tree or skating all around or playing on a hill and so on and so forth. So it's a really fun rhyme. It's a different version of the five little monkeys jumping on the bed but kids will love you know reading along or reciting along as they learn the story. It's just really cute. These two are very similar, they're by the same author and they have a lot of the same characters. This one's called One Snowy Night and this one is called One Winter's Day and they're both about a little hedgehog um, and dealing with like hats and mittens but they have slightly different stories. So in One Snowy Night, the little hedgehog is given the gift of a hat. 
but it just doesn't fit him right over his prickle so he ends up giving it to his friend the rabbit but it doesn't fit on the rabbit's ear so the rabbit gives it to the badger but the badger can't hear anything when he is wearing it so he gives it to the fox the fox makes two holes for his ears and he goes on his merry way but he sees something in the snow and it's little hedgehog covered in snow so he ends up wrapping little hedgehog in the hat now that it's all stretched out he fits inside and brings it him to the friends who help warm him up so it's just really cute about giving um, and how it comes full circle for us one winter's day is very similar little hedgehog's hat mitten and hat mittens and scarf come off in the wind and he's really cold and then it's very windy and so he ends up giving like the different articles of clothing to different animals he gives his hat to the mice he gives his mittens to the otter he gives his scarf to the little fawn and then he goes to badger's house and warms up but he no longer has a home and so his friends end up using the things he gave to make a nice warm cozy home for him so again it's just coming full circle the gifts we give are returned in many different ways but it's also a really fun way to learn about the different animals in wintry places a Loud Winter's Nap is a really cute and really nicely illustrated book about a tortoise who does not like winter. And he's trying to take his winter nap, but everybody keeps being really loud, like the robin who asks him if he, if he wants to join the singing class, but he's really grumpy and says no. And he tries to sleep again, but the rabbit is being really loud making ice sculptures. So he tries to sleep again and the squirrel is making snowballs that keep hitting him in the head. He tries somewhere else but his tree ends up knocking over because the beaver is making sleds out of the trees and it's just really funny. He's just very grumpy but he keeps ending up learning all these things that you can do in the snow and he ends up actually having a really good time and going and spending some time with his friends and decides he doesn't hate winter so much after all kind of cute kind of fun way to learn about the different things you can do in the winter and it's just it's just really funny and cute and lastly this is a really fun book called the bear snores on I love how this teaches about hibernating and it's just really really cute so it's about this bear who's hibernating but it gets really cold and blustery and different animals end up coming into his den as he's snoring they build a fire they make some hot cocoa and some popcorn. The badger brings honey nuts and they kind of start to have a little party, but the bear snores on and has really good um, rhymes in it. And they end up having a really fun party dancing around and the bear keeps sleeping, but all of a sudden a pepper flake makes him sneeze and he wakes up gets really really mad and then he realizes he's missing out on all the fun and he's crying but then they say well we can always pop more popcorn and you can join in too and so they have a really fun time playing and having fun and then at the end all the friends are asleep but the bear is wide awake so it's just really really cute and fun book about including others and hibernating so those are our favorite winter time books i would love to know yours on our community tab since our comments are disabled head over there and let us know your favorite winter time books and i'll have links to all these in the description in case you want to pick any up i hope you guys are having a fun time wherever you are if it's cold i hope you're bundling up and reading lots of good books and if it's warm i hope you're enjoying it for those of us in the colder areas of the world so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye guys